Hello and welcome to the Out of the Sandbox video guide to custom pages using page.details, a new page template included in Turbo 2.1. This new page template will allow you to create custom internal pages that have all of the same features as the home page, well most of the same features as the home page. You can take a look at the Our Story pages on either the Seoul or the Portland demo to see what this template is capable of. So if you're using a previous version of Turbo and you would like to take advantage of this new template, then I suggest you update your theme any of your favorite ways, including using the Out of the Sandbox Theme Updater app to update your theme while carrying over any of your past customizations. All right, the first step to getting one of these pages set up is to create the page on the Shopify platform. So here I am on my admin panel. I'm gonna to go to Online Store, Pages, and add a new page. I've already created it here. And give it a title. We're going to be creating an About Us page using this template. You don't need to put anything into the content field here, but make sure that you have selected the page.details template from the template selector in the bottom right corner here and save your page. Then make sure you have a way of navigating to the page from the home page. I've done that by adding the About page to my main menu as a link. That way, when I head into Online Store Themes, and into Customize Theme of the Turbo 2.1 theme. I can navigate to the page using the link in the main menu and access the settings associated with this page here on the left. And as you see in the preview window here, it looks very similar to the home page. As we scroll down and we see all of these various areas, which are called content blocks when we're talking about internal pages, as opposed to sections when we talk about the home page. And so here on the left, we see all of these content blocks added, and at the bottom, the ability of adding more content blocks. And these are the options of the blocks that we can add. Each one of these is included in the default layout that we see here on the right. So we're just going to start from the top of the list and start configuring these blocks to match the sole demo. Starting at the top of the list here, we've got this first content block, which is an image with text overlay, where we can upload an image. And then we've got some text caption settings that we're familiar with already from configuring image with text overlay sections on our homepage. But we've got a pre-heading, a heading, and a subheading. We can include as many or as few as we'd like. Of course, we've got the solid background with transparency settings there. And then the alignment and position settings that you're used to from the other image with text overlay sections. Of course, we can add some buttons, which look like this. And we, have the, we have the ability of highlighting or unhighlighting either of them. There we go for our image with text overlay. Each content block of the page.details template is to be separated by a divider, which is also added as a content block. In this divider, we've got the ability of changing the amount of spacing between each one of these content blocks. And then if you'd like, you can show a border. The border doesn't look great underneath one of these image sections, but it looks great between any text sections. This next content block is a rich text with image content block, where the image appears above a section of text. Let's just select an image here to show you what position it occupies. So that's where it appears. You've got the ability of taking control over a heading. Then this is where you enter your text. The text can be bolded, italicized. You can add links within the text. Then you can take control over the text size, the overall alignment of the text, and then of course adding a button link. That can go to any of your favorite destinations around your shop. So that is the rich text with image content block, followed by another divider, of course. Next, we have a featured collection, the ability of listing some products directly on an internal custom page. So let's select one of our favorite collections here. And there it shows up right on this page as thumbnails. And we've got the same layout settings that we're used to seeing for other product listings throughout the shop. The layout for slider versus grid, products per row, and then the product limit here. So that is the featured collection content block. 
Another divider, of course. We've got a featured video here. Again, very similar to the video section that you'll find on the home page. You can choose your source. This is where you would enter the source information, whether it's going to autoplay or auto loop. You've got the ability of darkening the video to make your text caption a little bit more visible. You've got the ability of uploading a banner to use as a preview or a, a banner that will appear before you trigger the video using the button that appears on top. Here are all of the text caption settings and then the button setting here. So we've seen all of these settings already when configuring our home page, but here they are existing on an internal page. So that's the featured video content block there. We've got some image with text sections here. So here you can select the alignment for the text and then whether the image is going to be on the left or the right. Then this is where you select the images that you would like to use. That might look a little bit better on the left. Looking good. I'm just going to quickly configure the other image with text section here. So we've got those features as well configured here on an internal page. Got the ability of listing a blog. So we've choose one of our blogs here with a couple of blog posts. Here they are appearing with the excerpt information here showing, just like on the home page, the ability of showing as much or as little information about the blog posts right here within the layout. This is what it looks like without any of those features enabled. Great. We've got the new contact form. So this is actually a new content block. It's included in the home page now as well. Got the ability of taking control over your heading. Subheading here, which will appear just above the next paragraph, which is edited here. We've got positioning and alignment, and that will change the location of the contact form as well to correspond. So all kinds of various alignment options there for your contact form. Of course, another divider before we see another new content block, which is the map here. It's going to default to the address that you have set up in your general settings on Shopify. But then you enter your actual address here, the address that you would like to display on this map. If it can be sought out on Google Maps, it will appear here in the feature. And then you can select the zoom level, depending on how detailed you want to get with the map. A little less detailed there. You can have it constrained to the column framework, or you can have it stretched to the full width of the layout. And then you can take control over the height of that section using this uh, selector. Great, we've got an image gallery here. The image gallery is set to a static three images. The theme also includes a gallery template. So you can go ahead and check that one out for some more robust gallery features if you're looking for a page that would just be for showing images. Then we have a divider before this quote content block, which appears, as you see, just above this newsletter sign up here. So those are almost all of the content blocks that you can add to that page. There is one more that you can add, which is a page. That's right, you can add another page within this page itself. So here I've got the page list from all the pages that I have on Shopify showing up here, and I can add it as a content block to display on this page, which is why you never need to enter anything within the content field of this actual page, since you can include the content of any other page on this page itself. The best part about these content blocks is that you can just simply click and drag to reorder them as they appear in the order on the page. Just make sure you're keeping a divider between each one of the content blocks so that you've got a healthy amount of padding. So using this new robust template, you can create layouts like the one you see here in the Seoul demo, or like the one that you see here in the Portland demo, just to give you some ideas of what is possible with this new robust template. You can include as many or as few of these features in your page as you'd like. Any of the changes that you apply to the page.details template will apply to any page that you have set to that template. 
So you're probably already thinking of multiple pages that you would like to have using this robust template. In that case, you're going to need to duplicate this template to give yourself other copies that you can edit. Here's how you do that. You're going to want to head into your admin panel here into actions, edit HTML, CSS. Then here in templates, you're going to want to add a new template. You're going to add a page template and it's going to be called, let's say details to create template. So with the template created, our next step here is to go over here and find the original page.details.liquid template. Copy the code from here. Head back to the details-2 template we just created and paste it in. And then come up with a different section title here. So we're going to do page-details-template-2. While I'm here, I'm going to make a copy of this title and save the template. Then down here in the sections area, I'm going to add a new section and paste in that same section title I just copied. Then in the sections folder here, we're going to locate page details template, the original version. We're going to copy all the code, command A, command C. We're going to head back into the template that we just created here and overwrite the code that exists with a copy of the code that we just copied. This way, whenever we go into pages and we go to create a new page, given that we've already created the about page, and we would like to create another page that uses that details template, we can come in here and select the details-2. Then when we navigate to this page in the sections editor, we will be met with a brand new unique set of content block settings for configuring this page. So that's all there is to it as far as creating internal pages that have the same features as the ones you'd find on the home page using this page.details template. If you had any problems or you hit any snags, head on over to the updated support center help.outofthesandbox.com where you can look up your question and find a plethora of resources to help you out. My name is Sean Campbell. Thank you for joining me for this video guide. Take care.